All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Weld.com. Today I'm here again with Man Cub, and we're gonna be talking about some STT, or service tension transfer. Really good for thin materials, poor fit-ups, large gaps, things of that nature. So today we've prepped up a 3 8 plate. We've got a 37 and a half degree bevel. Uh, we went ahead and opened it up to about a quarter inch just to kind of show you the, uh, the range uh, that this process has and what's available to it uh, as far as poor fit-ups. Uh, so what I'd like to do is on the back end, I want to end up flush to one eighth of weld reinforcement. And today we're going to be using the, uh, the Lincoln Power Wave. We're running about 150 inches a minute on our wire feed speed. Uh, trim uh, is going to be set to 0.98. Now what trim is going to do is that's going to adjust our arc length, typically between 0.5 and 1.5. So we're, uh, one is about the ideal setting. However, we're going to run this vertical down. So I'm going to set it at 0.98. Uh, that's going to shorten up my arc length just a little bit and provide me a little bit of a stiffer puddle so that puddle doesn't get ahead of me while I'm welding. Uh, it's a short circuit process. We're going to run 7525 gas, uh, about 30 CFH, and I think we're ready. All right, ma'am Cub, so what we're going to do is we're going we're to start at the top and we're going to work our way to the bottom. So we're going to run this downhill. Um, typically, you know, everybody always runs uphill, but I'm not looking for penetration on this. I want to keep the profile low, mm -hmm. flush to eighth inch in the back. Uh, you know, so I don't want over penetration. STT is going to help with that. As I'm coming down, I'm going to probably, you know, come in perpendicular and drop about 10 to 15 degrees on my travel angle. And I want to stay right there at the leading edge of that puddle. Right. Uh, typically with regular short circuit, you know, you end up with a lot of whiskers poking through on the back. STT is going to help alleviate a lot of that. Gotcha. It's got like a, you know, kind of like a voltage sensing, you know, to where the, the peak current's going to hit and it's not going to allow it to overflow. So when you think of STT, it's kind of like a raindrop. You know, you get that surface tension on water. Mm -hmm. uh, very similar to, the, to that. You know, as it penetrates through the back, that's when it's going to cause that electrical short, and then it's going to reestablish the arc so we don't blow through the back. So we just feather our tacks in so we get to have good tie-ins here? Yeah, we get the fe tacks feathered. Uh, should be able to, you know, I got a little bit thicker up at the top. That way I can, I can initiate the arc there, yeah. pull right into there, and we should have a good tie-in at the, uh, the top tack. And then as we work our way down the bottom tacks, feathered on the top side so we'll get a good tie-in coming right. back into it. So if you notice on the uh, the front and back of the of the coupons here, we've cleaned up all the mill scale about a half inch on either side yeah. to kind of help alleviate uh, you know any discontinuities we would have yeah. and, and just try to set up the, uh, the best possible scenario for our weldment. Gotcha. All right, so as I run this, it's gonna oscillate side to side a little bit, stay at the leading edge of the puddle. I want about a half inch to three eighths contact tip to work distance. You'll notice that it sounds very similar to a short circuit process because that's you know ultimately what it is. It's a variation of short circuit. Okay, right there at the leading edge. We're gonna run this about halfway and then we're gonna let Man Cup take over and give it a try. Sweet. Go ahead and stop right here. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. Man Cub's gonna go ahead and take over, but before he starts welding on it, uh, what I want you to do is feather this tack out. Uh, typically, I, I take an eighth inch wheel and uh, feather out probably about three eighths of an inch. Take it down from the, uh, the thickest part of that weld almost to the same uh, thickness as that landing that we have on here. All right. And then when you restart, just restart on you know whichever side you're most comfortable with and then bring that back through. I'm just moving back and forth like that, right? Yes, sir. Stay on that leading edge. Stay right on the leading edge. All right. Uh, see, why is that balling up like that? Where at? Did the liner kink? Or the whip circled? I don't think so. Yeah, I can, I can feel the water chattering in here. It got resistant on it.
looks like you got a, a pretty good tie in here. You, now you say you were uh, down towards the bottom, you were getting some resistance in the gun. You felt like uh, the, the con or the uh, wire was balling up a little bit, uh, and then you got some you know kind of excess spatter up in this area. So the most likely culprit of that is the contact tip to work distance. That's a very key element. You want to hold that nice uh, three eighths to half inch contact tip to work distance, and then everything will flow in there a little bit smoother for you. All right, so let's flip it around and check out the root. Now you got a pretty good restart in here. It's about the area where that was performed. So that tied in good. Everything is uh, flush, it looks like. So that turned out right. We got a little bit of underfill in this area, and that's where uh, you ran right into that bottom tack. So one thing we could do to alleviate that is maybe feather that or taper that in a little bit more. Yeah. Or as you're getting close to the, the bottom there, just kind of rotate that angle your torch down a little bit further, and it's going to punch through into the back area for you a little bit better. Gotcha. But that's exactly what we were looking for. So, we, I mean, we have a, a quarter inch root opening. There's no excessive penetration. You know, we don't have any whiskers sticking out on the backside. Yeah. So that's kind of the ultimate goal here. Uh, that's just a minor discontinuity and, and we could remedy that pretty we quick. We could pass a what, a D11 code with that? Just by fix, we could fix that on our test and keep going? No, we couldn't do a D11 because uh, short circuit's not, not pre-qualified. So we'd actually have uh, to write a procedure for this. You would have to write a procedure, gotcha. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Click that like button down below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, make every weld better than your last.